yeah uh, good afternoon to everyone and uh, welcome to this uh, third day uh, and uh, afternoon session uh, as per the schedule it was scheduled for uh, crop in uh, due to the emer uh, some emergency you'll be uh, taking the session tomorrow morning okay um, apart from the morning session tomorrow morning session that's your sure. um, the second session maybe one hour 10 to 11 will be that sure will take and uh, um 11 15 to 12 15 will be crop in okay so uh, this session i'll be taking for you know um yeah, how to use uh, machine learning application using uh, google collab i'll share my screen is my screen is visible yes sir yeah any idea what is machine learning um uh, what is your understanding about machine learning? Can you type it in chat window so that I'll get some idea? So what I'll what I'm planning here is uh, I'll give some basic introduction about machine learning, then we'll go to Google Collab and try to use uh, uh, one case study. Okay, how to predict the quality of wine? Uh, real time case study will discuss. I'll share the data set in the chat window. You can practice you know parallelly. Then we'll see how to implement. Okay, once you develop machine learning model, how to implement? We'll discuss all these things. Any idea what is machine learning? Now also we're getting some background noise, madam. No, sir. No, sir. It's clear. Uh, shall I, shall be madam was telling uh, some no, background noise. No, for us, clear. Right. Okay. Yeah, maybe if you want, you can log out to log in, madam. Maybe some uh, connection error, something to get it. Okay. So making machine to improve the performance, okay, on based on the experience. Okay, set of algorithm to get unique solution. Gidanjali, madam, Jana sir, machine learning make to improve that. Okay, any other thought? Uh, what is machine learning? Because if you look at the um, uh, last uh, two and a half day, uh, trace X and other thing, they, uh, the key, uh, the, the uh, input is data. Okay, uh, so uh, uh, even IBM, they're using machine learning, Python only they're using. Okay, I'm gonna focus computer algorithm which can automatically improve through learning and by using data excellent sir. so the uh, you can predict automatic prediction okay ability to machine with the continuous improvement based on the data a uh, continuous yeah yeah uh, got it madam got it building a model okay okay we'll see uh, we'll see i'll also give my input uh, so uh, if uh, two things are very important machine learning one is data okay another one is some algorithm will be there we'll talk about that algorithm okay so uh, as mentioned some of the people there will be a automation process through data on the algorithm algorithm may be statistical techniques okay statistical technique is a algorithm okay correct so if you look at this uh, we have discussed already uh, why uh, now we are talking about a all these things uh, last even my during my first session uh, i was giving the data not only data data is a key component apart from this uh, computation power so whatever we are using the computer now it's considered as a super computer in uh, 30 years 40 years before Okay, another thing is algorithm. The nowadays people are talking about deep learning algorithm, the uh, the, the you know, and uh, the storage cost, all these things are coming down. That's why we are you know talking about this course now, and a lot of companies like TraceX, the lab, other companies are implementing because of the data availability and the computation power and the good algorithm like deep learning algorithm and the storage cost, all these things are you know, um, coming down. Because of that one, a lot of startups are there. Okay, uh, main driver for you know, all these things is penetration of technology. So everybody have a mobile phone now. So the Stella will not be you know, uh, possible. The company is not possible when there is no technology like you know, uh, mobile technology or uh, internet technology. That nobody have internet access, nobody have you know, mobile uh, in their hand means very difficult to start up this kind of company like Stella or SpaceX. And consumers also very comfortable. Nowadays, everybody have mobile phone, even though there was a survey. So the world, a number of people are assessed to that regular toilet facility. And comparatively, the more people are having the mobile phone. Mobile phone means I'm talking about smart mobile phone as a sister. And they are also very comfortable. Even if you look at the, the everybody nowadays are into Facebook, YouTube. Okay, even my father is now started, you know, a Facebook account. So he was not there. Similarly, everybody into, you know, technology. Uh, they are watching all these things. So that is the, you know, first one. So everybody into technology because of the technology everybody now converting the traditional business model into digital model even walmart initially it was physical now they are coming into online 
So all the companies, uh, they're uh, converting a traditional business model into um, a digital model. And also not only uh, organization like, you know, private uh, companies, even government also. So traditional uh, online offering, they, they convert uh, uh, brick and mortar, you know, uh, uh, service to online. Even during my PDF time in IAM Bangalore in 2013, if you want to travel from Bangalore to my place, uh, um, Karakal, I have to go to you know, uh, KSRTC counter and I have to book the ticket. Um, but nowadays I'm not going there. I'm using the uh, mobile app of you know, KSRTC. Similarly, any government offering, they're converting it to digital because everybody have mobile phone, particularly smart mobile phone and the internet connection. Internet connection also now is very cheap. Even five years, six years before, if you look at you know, uh, the service provider like uh, Vodafone or uh, Airtel, they will charge you too much money. Similarly, after implementation of Jio service, nowadays they are giving very cheap. One GB of internet we are getting in the lesser cost. And also feature, it is coming 5G and other things. So because of this you know, trend, there, uh, all become uh, uh, traditional to uh, online business model. So if you look at anything online, there are a lot of data will come. Anything become online or a digital business, one of the key output of you know, all these things is data. So we are getting a lot of data from uh, uh, digital conversion, okay? So data will come from the uh, people. People mean we will generate data, lot of data, okay, from social media. And the second one is uh, server, ERP server, and um, uh, all company of ERP server. So that is a second source. And third will be the IoT. Uh, wherever, you, uh, you know, if you go, if you use your, take your mobile phone, lot of sensors are there. Okay, so there are three sources of uh, uh, world where getting data. One is um, ERP uh, server from company. Second one is uh, IoT data. Third one is uh, people. Uh, people mean we are generating through, uh, if you log in in the uh, Netflix, there are data will come. If you log into the Facebook and share something or like something, you are generating data. So if you look at this, the world data generated into three form. One is um, server, ERP server and other things. Second one is uh, IoT mission. Third one is people. We are generating through social media and different platform. If you go to Zugi or Somato, we'll order something. So if you do some activity, automatically some data. Data mean I don't think it's only number, transaction data, image data, video data, all other command data. Now the question is, yeah, which, which one of the highest number of data? Any idea? If you assume that 100% of data, which one is the highest generation of data? Either people generated or machine generated or uh, uh, which one? Um, ERP or server generated data. Which one is higher in the world? Any idea? Any thought? So please understand we are into a, a, a revolution because data. Now the question is, which one is we are getting more data from uh, people or from IoT or uh, servers? For people, okay. Any other thought? People mean social media or any platform business model. Uh, second one is um, uh, machine. Okay, uh, size sorry, is machine. People pay attention, madam. IoT, yeah. So mostly it is from uh, I think uh, sensors. Okay, IoT data. Uh, if you travel from Bangalore to Delhi, the uh, flight itself lot of uh, sensors are there. Okay, so world we are getting more, more large data from uh, not people or ERP server or um, uh, other form. It is mainly from IoT. Even people will uh, sleep or other thing. IoT machine will not sleep. So a lot of data generated in the world. We are getting more data in the world from the um, sensors or IoT machines. Okay, even if you use any Fitbit watches or anything, we are getting more data from that uh, almost three to five GB data from the machine itself, the Fitbit watches, smart watches. Okay, a lot of data we are getting from this uh, um, uh, IoT machine only. So a lot of companies are using this data to do the uh, AA product and the machine learning product. Okay, so when data is there, uh, you have to store it. Yeah, IoT, yeah, yeah, IoT is a part of uh, machine only. So it's machine generated data. IoT, we are using even mobile phone itself. Uh, Google is giving everything is free. But uh, there are a lot of sensors are there, uh, camera sensors. So uh, unknowingly, you are sending a lot of data to different different companies, particularly uh, Google and other uh, Facebook and other companies. So we are accepting everything because they, they will take your uh, transaction. Even if you switch off your mobile and uh, op, you know, op, open after uh, two, two hours or three hours, Google can un understand where you, where you have moved, what are the places you, they, you have traveled, everything they can track using the sensors, OK? Uh, and if you look at the, um, once the data is there, uh, nowadays the storage cost is very less because of the cloud storage. Even uh, 50 years before, if you want to store one GB of data, you have to spend a lot of money. Okay, now we are not giving any money to 
uh, even Google Drive or Dropbox, one GB, two GB data, without any cost, we are able to store it. Okay. And the, if your storage cost is very less, mean it's very high, mean it's very difficult to do all AA projects. Okay. But if the storage cost is very less, we are using now TB, uh, no, uh, uh, no storage capacity. So now feature something called, uh, they're planning for bacterial DNA. Okay. So if same uh, small size, you can store huge data. Okay. That is storage cost also coming down. And the advancement of computer. Nowadays, people are talking about supercomputer. Now, if you look at, we are going to use Google Colab. In the Google Colab is a Python environment. Uh, it's an integrated uh, development environment. The backside of the Google Colab, it's Python only it work. Okay. So the, the Google Colab is giving, uh, uh, we know what is CPU, central processing unit. They, they'll give you a, a GPU, a graphical processing unit, TPU, tensor processing unit. So that kind of you know, processing uh, the server they uh, that uh, you know, uh, processor they use in order to analyze the uh, huge data, image data or video data, all these things. It's very difficult to sometimes process through our computer. So there are a lot of technologies coming, which are they're planning for quantum computing. Okay. So uh, during my PhD time, when uh, my guide used to tell me in uh, Pondicherry University, when you want to analyze the regression, uh, he has to go to Madras University if you give the data morning, evening only will get some output. But same uh, statistical technique regression I'm teaching for uh, IAPM student. If you give the result in Excel, there is an add-on called the data analysis. If you click that uh, option, within a fraction of a second, you'll get the result. Why it is? Because of the advancement of computer speed, the processing speed. So if you look at the uh, 50 years, 60 years before, the processing speed is very slow. We want to analyze all the data, what we are getting for machine learning, all these things. In the 30 years, 40 years before, it's very difficult. Computer will not support. Okay, the storage also is very huge cost. Nowadays, storage cost also very less and the processing speed also very good. So because of that only, uh, every company, a lot of uh, startup agri-tech companies, food tech company, health tech company, all the technology companies are you know, emerging because of a lot of data are there and um, customers, everybody have internet, mobile phone, and they are very comfortable. All government organization, private organization, they're converting into digital business app or some website. So the once the data is coming from the website or app, uh, there is storage cost is very less and once a uh, storage cost uh, very less when you want to use the data for uh, um, no, uh, the deep learning or any kind of data analytics the speed of computer also very good so because of all this uh, combination now we are talking about this one our machine learning if you five years before 10 years ago nobody will talk about this one because of this uh, not availability of data maybe storage cost somewhat high okay the computation speed also it is there but comparatively less so all these angle, even the internet speed also very less, okay? And the internet spending also very huge, okay? For one GB of data, you have to spend a lot of money. So all these factors are influencing to um, focus on this revolution. Now um, we, we have to do research in this area. All this trend has happened because of this combination. Main is data, other factors are uh, no related factors, okay? Is it fine? Are you able to follow me? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Just I'll spend yes, some time. Yes, yeah, yes, okay. So if you look at this machine learning uh, is the, this one, okay? Uh, so data analytics, finally, if you want to make some automation product, okay? Uh, uh, chatbots or robot, we have to go for artificial intelligence. So before that, we have to do uh, machine learning, okay? So today we are going to focus on uh, supervised machine learning like a random forest model in Google Colab. So uh, after making this one, you have to deploy. Deploy mean either uh, uh, some people, uh, I think uh, yesterday I was asking one question to, for Russell company, they are using IBM Flask, Flask something or AWS to make the software. Okay, so before uh, making the software or deployment in farmers level or end user level like app, so they have to do the modeling part, machine learning modeling part. So we'll see how to do it in the um, Google Colab. Okay, so um, uh, artificial intelligence is a final product. Before that, they'll do machine learning um, uh, modeling, data modeling, and uh, uh, all these things. You know, so once you develop the model, they'll convert into either app or uh, automated system or robots or chatbots as a product, okay? So when making that product, they will use the concept of machine learning or deep learning, okay? So uh, we know what is artificial intelligence, uh, uh, no types, narrow, general, super. So, so far, most of the product we are using is a narrow or general, mostly 90% narrow intelligence, uh, no, replacing specific task of human being, okay? So we don't have super intelligence. So machine learning, uh, artificial learning sub, uh, division is machine learning. So subdivision of machine learning is deep learning. Deep learning will use mostly 
um, uh, neural network, okay, uh, human brain based uh, programming. Machine learning mostly we use statistical technique regression, correlation, a uh, lot of statistical related techniques we'll use, okay, so we'll see, I'll tell you. Okay, so machine learning, uh, as I mentioned somebody, the data and uh, uh, based on the data, the machine will learn, uh, based on the learning, we'll make the deployment, deployment either software or uh, some point of uh, um, website will develop, okay. So machine learning, we have three types, uh, supervised machine learning, unsupervised machine learning, another one is um, reinforcement learning. So as I mentioned, uh, supervised machine learning, uh, uh, there will be a target. Today we are going to use uh, supervised machine learning. Uh, if you look at this, uh, this uh, case study, wine case study, we are going to predict the uh, quality of wine. Okay, so quality of wine, there are two types of wine, uh, good quality and bad quality, based on the, uh, the target. Target is whether uh, the quality of wine is good or bad. So based on the input characteristic, the acidity level, pH level, chemical, uh, based on the different properties of the production. So if you go to the um, uh, wine production plant, okay, there are a lot of uh, production process, they will do it. So based on the chemical properties of the wine, we are going to predict the, uh, which one, which quality, which is the good quality and the bad quality. So that is come under supervised machine learning. So there will be a target variable, okay. And unsupervised machine learning is mostly for grouping, okay, cluster uh, or factor analysis they will use unsupervised machine learning. For example, if you have you know, 100 uh, types of wine, which are the, uh, if you look at this, based on this, we are going to group which are the uh, high quality wine and uh, you know, bad quality wine. There is no uh, target variable here, otherwise called in uh, academic, they call it as a uh, dependent variable, output variable, okay. So uh, there is no output variable in supervised machine learning, okay, and um, uh, for grouping purpose, they use, as I mentioned in the uh, initial session, mostly in the recommendation system, Amazon or any uh, platform based business model like uh, Sugi, Somato, all these things they'll use, uh, recommendation system. So recommendation system mostly based on unsupervised machine learning. If you want to predict something, you have to use uh, supervised machine learning. So for that, uh, what is the difference between supervised and unsupervised? Supervised, we have target variable, output variable will be there. So for this case study, we are, today we are going to use the target variable is quality of wine, whether the quality of wine is good or bad. Okay, if a target variable is, then it's called supervised machine learning. When there is no target variable, then it's called unsupervised machine learning. Mostly unsupervised machine learning we are using for grouping purpose, grouping the uh, product or um, grouping the people, all these things we'll use it, okay? Reinforcement learning, I already told you, it's for you know, uh, developing games, robots, okay? All these things they'll use, somewhat advanced form. So today's session, we'll try to use machine learning for uh, supervised machine learning that we are going to use um, uh, random forest model, okay? Uh, again, supervised machine learning, there are two types, okay? Uh, regression based, another one is classification based, okay? In the, in the target variable, so in the both supervised machine learning and the target variable, if a target variable is uh, category variable, yes or no question, we can go for classification and the target variable is metric variable, okay? Then we can go for uh, super, uh, regression based supervised machine. I'll tell you, uh, machine learning, how many types are there? Three types. Supervised, unsupervised, reinforcement. Again, supervised machine learning, there are two types. What are the two types? Regression based, classification based. Regression means uh, if it's a target variable, if it is a continuous variable, okay, height, weight, okay, um, all these things, if it is a target variable, continuous like interval or ratio scale, we can go for regression based supervised. If a target variable is yes or no, okay, or uh, uh, male and female category variable. Okay, so yes or no question. What is the difference between category and numerical variable mean? If you can't do any arithmetic calculation, then it is called category variable. If you can do arithmetic calculation, that is called metric variable. For example, gender. Gender is a category variable. I, we, I can't do any arithmetic calculation. What is arithmetic calculation? Division, multiplication. Okay, so for example, in this uh, classroom, uh, there are, uh, I think that there are 100 participants. Okay. I'm asking um, what is your gender. I, I'm giving uh, coding as one for male and two for female. So uh, assume that in out of 100 uh, participants, uh, uh, 60 people are one male and the remaining 40 people are female. So I can't take all the one, uh, if you want to take average, okay, uh, uh, how to take average, uh, I have to add all the one, I have to add all the uh, two divided by 100. Assume that this average is coming 1.8 something. Is there any gender in the classroom called 1.8? No, okay. So if any variable, you can't do any arithmetic calculation, then it is called category variable. If you can do arithmetic calculation, that is called metric variable. Same if you look at in this classroom, uh, I'm asking your age, okay? 
So age is a metric variable. Uh, gender is a category variable. Age, I'm asking, what is your age? First, first part, maybe they're given for 32, 42. Um, uh, if you want to take average arithmetic calculation, you take average is coming around um, uh, uh, 42. So the average age is 42. Is there any meaning? Yes, definitely meaning is there. So if you can do any arithmetic calculation in any variable, then it is called metric variable. Okay, so for that you have to use regression based supervised machine learning. If the, uh, the target variable is category variable, you can't do any arithmetic calculation, then you can go for uh, classification based regression model. For example, logistic regression, okay, um, uh, all these things come under classification. So normal regression or some other, you know, other form of you know, uh, uh, um, models are there, okay, uh, there is some uh, different mo regression models are there. If target variable is category, we can go for classification regression uh, supervised machine learning, but target variable is uh, metric variable, you have to go for regression based uh, supervised machine learning. Okay, so if it's uh, uh, in the supervised machine learning, we have the target variable. In class, uh, in the um, unsupervised, there is no target, only grouping. Okay, uh, so grouping only, so uh, K cluster analysis, all these things are available. Is it clear? Are you able to follow me? Up to this, are you able to follow me? Any clarification, anything? Is it okay? Yes, sir, yes, it's so okay. Okay, yeah. So these are the terminology you have to understand. Uh, algorithm means statistical technique. Model means equation. Okay, equation uh, um, uh, equation means uh, so regression equation model. That is called model. Mo model means don't think something, you know, uh, uh, some kind of uh, structure or some kind of, you know, uh, actor. So the model means equation. Okay, predictor variable, target variable. Response variable is otherwise called independent variable. Okay, uh, training and testing data, I'll tell you. Okay. So normally machine learning will, uh, yeah, entire sample will divide it into two parts. Okay, that is called uh, uh, training and testing. So normal uh, data analysis will, as it is, will analyze, but machine learning model will try to uh, divide the data into two groups. Okay, for example, assume that you know, 100 sample, maybe uh, 70, mostly 70 to 80 percentage data will go to training data. And uh, remaining, you know, if you are taking 70 year, year, year testing will be 70, 30 percentage. Okay. So, uh, so training uh, data will use for developing the model equation, okay? And uh, testing data will use for uh, validating the model, okay? I'll repeat again, uh, out of total sample, uh, we divide the data into two parts, training and testing. Training data will be more uh, sample. Assume that 100 samples are there, 70% uh, will go to, 70 to 80% will go to training data. The training data will use for developing the model, okay? So once you develop the model, model means equation. Once you develop the model, the tested data. If you take 70 year, remaining how much will be the 30 will be. So 30 data will use for validating the model, whether the model is you're getting consistent result or not. So based on that, if you are getting the consistent result, then the model is uh, robust. It's good for uh, deployment, implementation in the uh, consumer front. Okay, so for that, they will use training and training for developing the model. Testing is for validating the model, whether we are getting the same uh, accuracy, almost matching the accuracy of uh, training result and the testing. If you're matching mean, then only they'll go for uh, deployment. Deployment mean either app development or website development, they'll go. Okay, uh, anyway, we are going to use one case study and we'll learn all this. Okay, this is the machine learning process, entire process. So there will be a, uh, uh, seven step, uh, steps uh, are there. So we uh, will learn one by one. First one is any machine learning project in company. If you want to write any paper, or if you want to uh, ask your student to develop machine learning product or any um, uh, you know, student project or any small paper, if you want to work, you can adapt this six step or seven step process. Okay, what is the first step process is um, defining the object. Okay, assume that I have objective to uh, forecast the weather. In Bangalore, I want to forecast the weather. I either, either you want to forecast the COVID cases or anything if you want to forecast. Okay, so if you look at the target variable is, uh, 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 what will be the weather? Okay, if you want to forecast the COVID, what will be the COVID numbers will be in the tomorrow or next one week? Okay, that will be our uh, target variable. So input data mean um, number of cases, number of people are uh, tested, uh, no number of people, uh, uh, no what is this? Uh, no going for uh, vaccination or other you no know, other factors will take it. Okay, so that is called input variable. Based on this, we are going to predict the target variable number of cases. Similarly, weather if you want. We can use you know, some variables. Okay, for example, data related to weather condition, humidity level, temperature level, pressure. So all these things will be the 
independent variable. The, the target variable will be the temperature. Similarly, for COVID cases, the target variable is the number of cases tomorrow in Bangalore. Okay, the uh, input variable will be uh, number of people tested positive. Some uh, no some other variable like you know. Uh, 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 environmental condition or a number of people are traveling, lockdown is there or not. So based on the, this factor, we are going to predict for uh, COVID case. Similarly, for weather prediction, based on the humidity, temperature, based on this, we are going to predict the um, weather of Bangalore. Okay, so first one is you have to understand the objective of this project. Okay, here the objective may be a prediction of weather or prediction of COVID cases. Second one is you have to gather the data. The data gathering will be either primary or secondary Okay, primary data mean either you have to use questionnaire or um, observation or some IoT data or maybe some other secondary uh, databases like you no know, weather in uh, website or some other website you can go and uh, collect the data. That is the second step of this project. Okay. Third step will be data cleaning. Please understand, uh, I was talking to some of my friends. So most of the time, whenever they collect the data from IoT or other, sometimes the data will not be, you know, accurate. Sometimes uh, some data will be missed, okay, when, because of internet connection or uh, outliers will be there. So a lot of issues will be there. They were telling, you no, know, they will just like that. They will not go for whatever the data they collect. They will do some kind of, you no, know, uh, data cleaning. So 30 to 40 percentage of their time on uh, checking the quality of data. So when uh, data quality is some problem, the output also will get it issue. For example, if you want to cook good food. You need a good uh, raw materials, right? Like uh, vegetable, all these things. So if you have any problem with uh, vegetables or rice, any any problem with the uh, you know issues are there. If you without cleaning, if you put it in the cooking process, what will happen to the food quality? It will create problem, right? Similarly, in the data analysis and machine learning, also the input will be the data. So without uh, checking the missing value or uh, you know uh, outlier, okay, all these things, if you just put it in the machine learning algorithm, we'll get the output. Okay, but what is the problem with the output is the accuracy will not be uh, very good. Okay, so in order to avoid all these things, uh, the third step of machine learning projects, uh, uh, most of the people will do is the preparation of data. Preparation of data, otherwise called data cleaning. Okay, uh, so they will do it. Okay, fourth step is uh, exploratory data analysis. Okay, so normally in statistics, there are two types, uh, descriptive, another one is uh, inferential. Okay, descriptive mean uh, using charts, tables, Okay, before applying machine learning advanced modeling, uh, inferential statistics, you know, like machine learning model regression or uh, random forest, deep learning, anything if you want to use. Before that, they will check the data visualization, okay, uh, tables, charts, okay, to understand what is the data. Okay, so that is the uh, fourth step they will do. And similarly, if you want to do any project, uh, before, after cleaning the data, before implementing machine learning model, you have to do some kind of exploratory data, like you know, tables, charts, all these things. So whatever I'm explaining now, same thing we are going to do it in the Google Colab. Okay, so that is the fourth step. Uh, what is the difference between machine learning? Uh, yeah, I'll tell you, sir. Tell me, sir. So machine learning is the deep learning is the overall process, sir. Uh, uh, yeah, sorry, A is the overall process. So in the sub part of A is uh, machine learning and deep learning. Okay, A is the final output product. For example, uh, if you want to use mobile app, okay. Uh, for example, the morning there is a session, right? Cell uh, app. They are developing some uh, automated mobile app for the farmers or the dairy farm. So the, the app is called you know AI system, automated system. So automatically the data will be updated. So developing the AI app, they'll use machine learning concept or deep learning concept inside this you know um, their platform, Google platform. Okay. So AI will be the automated process software or uh, app or website. So in developing that AA system or this one, they'll use machine learning or deep learning. What is the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Machine learning means uh, mostly statistical techniques will use, okay, regression, um, um, logistic regression, all these things. Deep learning also kind of uh, technique only, but mostly the technique is based on neural network. Neural network means, Neural network mean mostly it's based on the human brain, neuron, right? That concept. Machine learning and deep learning are mostly used, both will use data, but the algorithm used by deep learning is uh, the uh, neuron based, the uh, uh, human brain based algorithm. But uh, machine learning, they'll work based on statistical techniques like the deep, uh, what's this? Uh, regression, correlation, logistic regression, and of forest techniques, all these things they'll use. It. But both will have to do the uh, data they'll use. So, in order to develop AA, they'll use the machine learning and deep learning concept to develop the app or website, automated system, thought board, whatever it is. Is it okay, sir? Amir, sir? Okay, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you.
Okay, sir. Yeah. So this this is the four step. We'll all these things we'll do it in the Google Pola. Okay. Uh, so fifth step is building the model. I was telling right that uh, the in machine learning they'll uh, divide the data into two forms: training and testing. Okay, training data they'll use for building the model. Okay, so training data will be mostly seventy to eighty percentage of the sample. Okay, and um, model evaluation. Model evaluation they'll test it, evaluating the model. So that they'll use test data. Test data means thirty to th uh, twenty to thirty percentage of the sample. So if we are, if we are getting the same result in the Fifth and sixth step. Then finally, they'll go for uh, deployment. Deployment mean uh, prediction or implementation. Here only they'll a product they'll develop uh, some kind of you no know, app or something they'll develop. Okay, I'll explain now one minute. So main problem with the a project is lot of projects are failed because of the data quality, lot of issues. Most of the uh, data analytics projects are failed. So whatever they are doing in the companies, a project and all, it will not hundred percent is successful because of the lot of issues with the data. Uh, the the entire uh, the system will not support. Sometimes internet issues will be there in data collection space. A lot of issues are there. Whatever uh, companies are doing, lot of projects are failing. Only the twenty to thirty percentage will be in the deployment, final implementation. Okay, I was talking to some of my friends. They are working in some consultancy company. They get lot of project, uh, but when when they go for implementation, lot of issues are there. So uh, that is a drawback from machine learning. As of now, we, we even though we have data, we we have the Computation power, lot of issues, but a um, lot of you know uh, positive. But implementation, there are human centric uh, issues are there. Some customer will not support, and uh, um, other you know, behavioral issues are there when you go for implementation. Okay, some of the funny side of AA uh, is uh, if you look at this, this is also one of the product of you know uh, Amazon AA product. Okay, so if if you want to use this one inside the, uh, if you ask what is uh, Um, you no, know, today whether whether there are something in Bangalore, it will give answer. So inside this, there will be machine learning or deep learning algorithm will be there. It will process your data. What is the data here? Voice data. So based on this, it will give the output. Okay, this entire machine is the A product. Inside this, the deep learning or machine learning algorithm will be there. So based on the input, what is the input? Data, voice data. It will give the output. But if you look at some of the issue happen. Okay, for example. Uh, Uh, Alexa, no, uh, it's giving you know uh, created some issue with the uh, order itself. Okay, uh, Christmas, uh, you know, it it started you know celebrating, and similarly there is a uh, another robot called Sophia. It has given uh, citizenship like human being. They given citizenship in the um, Saudi Arabia. Okay, and um, uh, even for there is one robot uh, here. They uh, it started uh, ordering in uh, Alexa. Okay, uh, in uh, Amazon. So Amazon is similar to the uh, order the lot of product. So it is not you know um, uh, given by the owner of the product. It is it started giving order is you know, themselves because of the some issue in the algorithm. Similarly, if you look at this, they used uh, passport image verification in the airport. So mostly, if you look at they used uh, images of you know Asian and other uh, images. They didn't use image to develop the machine learning model of you know uh, uh, Chinese people or Japanese people. When they upload this kind of Chinese images, even though its eyes are open, the algorithm says is it's closed. Why it is because of the data, whatever we feed at the data here, it is not the um, uh, all type of images. Yes, yeah, maybe the because of the we didn't you know given enough sample of Chinese or Japanese image because of that is creating problem. Okay, so these are some of the you know negative side. When you use wrong data, you will get wrong um, a product or wrong you know, or the output also will be create problem. Similarly, there is a robot is creating problem to the you know, human being. Okay, so small issue they are fighting with the robot, and uh, there is another issue. You know, the robots they use for judging the beauty context, online beauty context. Uh, what happened to the robot is is uh, predicting the uh, human uh, women with black images. They predict as a not beautiful. Why it is because that maybe the machine uh, developed based on the only white skin woman images. Because of that one, when the robots or um, the algorithm see any images with black skin, it's uh, you know uh, discriminate as a you know uh, not uh, beautiful woman. So all these things because of the what the data we are feeding into. Okay, so it's very we have to very careful the data. The input if it is wrong, the output also will be very difficult to get it proper output. So these are some of the issues are happening in the world because of the AI development. Even for Microsoft, they use the AI chatbots in the tutor handling. Whatever the some of the answer we are getting in the tutor, it is not somebody sitting in the Microsoft and answering. Maybe it's because of the chatbots, uh, automated chatbot. What happened to these chatbots of Microsoft is they started arguing with the um, 
people okay uh, particularly the racism feminism related you know uh, argument why it is because uh, it has developed a reinforcement learning some kind of you no know, it started learning and started arguing with people somebody uh, giving some kind of negative image uh, negative wording or this so they started arguing with the uh, um, uh, twitter uh, pages with you know different uh, peoples different uh, customers of uh, you know, microsoft or general people they started arguing So all these things because of the you know uh, the how we are developing how we are managing the algorithm is very very important. Okay, similarly the robots are failing in exam. Even though we develop even some of the places the humans are overtaking the robots. So if you look at this, uh, sometime um, if you look at this machine has uh, predicted this image as a depression at ninety percentage. You can if you look at this image, it's uh, machine learning or deep learning algorithm predicts as a depression. Okay, depression only less percentage, but actually we know that some people learn you know, a sarcastic smile and all we can understand. Okay, but um, machine you know, based on the data input, it is you know uh, differently classified. Yeah, these are some of the issues. Okay, vacuum cleaner and all the um, robots is creating problem. Okay, so main problem is you know uh, even uh, not even ten percentage of human minds are automated. Actually, not even one uh, percentage of human minds are automated. We have lot of scope for creativity. Okay. So with this introduction, what I'll do, I'll go to Google Colab and we'll start the this one. Okay, these are the things uh, yeah, I don't want. Okay, uh, so if you look at the A project, okay, when I was interacting with a lot of people in A project or any machine learning, mostly they're using uh, Python. Okay, so even though in the entire data analytics process, lot of softwares are there. Okay, you can see a lot of softwares. But most of the people, even new education policy, they want to use Python. Okay, uh, even though there are a lot of software, Excel, Tableau, these are the SQL. But mainly the Python. Um, as a uh, um, faculty member, as a for student, we have to teach the Python. Even I was working in BAT, you know, uh, six years before, uh, they are making uh, Python as a compulsory course across all the engineering uh, domain. Okay, because the industry need a lot of you know uh, people should know that Python. So. So there are other softwares are like R and other software, but Python is stopping. Okay, so Python is no uh, object oriented high level language. Uh, so compared to other software like Java and C C plus, Python is more taking in the uh, popularity. Okay, a uh, lot of people are looking for Python based uh, people, uh, no skill. And if uh, there is another software like R. Okay, so R also very powerful, but main disadvantage R is we cannot do for deployment. Okay, if you want to develop some app or uh, mobile app or anything, uh, we have to go for some other software. For data analytics, we can use both Python and R. When you want to use a deployment, like if you want to develop uh, app based on the data analysis, we can't do it in R. Okay, we have to use Python. So for deployment, uh, again you have to go for Python or Java or any other software. That's why a lot of people are going with Python because it is a end to end software we can do it for a lot of purpose okay not only for data analysis um, apart from data analysis we can use it for other purpose also uh, so that is the reason python is famous but r was initially famous both are open source but r is only used for data analysis purpose okay this is the person who developed this um, python okay so why he given the python name because he was when he was developing this python so he is reading some magazines So the magazine name was uh, Monthly Python. Okay, so based on this magazine uh, name, he has given this software name also Python. Okay, so you can use for Python for a lot of purpose: web development, graphics, machine learning, big data, IoT, connection, all these things. But if you use R, it's very difficult to use web development. Okay, web scraping and other purpose. Maybe you can use it for uh, data analysis. Okay, other purpose very difficult. That's why Python is famous than R and uh, other software, and user friendly also. So these are the some of the world leading organization. They are using Python for their uh, process. Even uh, when I was interacting with TraceX and other company, they are also basic uh, uh, inside this uh, the process uh, cloud and other. They are using Python platform. So in uh, Netflix and all, they are using for entire uh, full life cycle of this uh, product. They are using Python. So these are the some of the packages. We'll see some of the packages. We'll use it for uh, today's session and we'll try to learn it. Okay. So these are the packages. So you have to call some packages, okay? So the entire uh, process we can use Python. So these are the basics. Uh, so we can see. We'll start with one case study and try to use Google Colab for Python. Why? What is the difference between Google Colab and Python? Now I'll explain. Yes. This is the file extension. So this is the file extension for uh, Python. 
So the Python we can download from this website, python.org. So we are not going for going for basic Python, but other version we'll see. So there is a two widely used uh, this one is one is a Jupyter notebook. So there is something called Anagonda. Uh, for Anagonda, they'll use a Jupyter notebook. Okay, so Jupyter notebook is an inter uh, integrative you know, uh, visualization. So same place you'll get the output also, coding everything. But we are not going to use Anagonda Jupyter notebook. We are going to use the um, uh, another IDA that is called Google Colab. Okay, I'll tell you what is Google Colab and uh, this one. Please understand, Python is a software. Uh, uh, the top of this, uh, the people are mainly used for uh, Anaconda uh, Jupyter Notebook or uh, Google Colab. I'll tell you what is the difference between these two. Okay, so you, if you want to use uh, Anaconda, this one, uh, you have to use your computer uh, memory and other things for uh, data. If you use huge data, um, yeah, if you install Anaconda Python, uh, mostly Anaconda Python, it will take your computer uh, or disk uh, you know, capacity to process the data, okay? But when you use Google Colab, uh, it will use the online, uh, Google server uh, um, um, server processor it will take, okay? But only disadvantage is the Google Colab, you need internet connection, but Anaconda Python or Jupyter Notebook in Anaconda Python, we do not no, no need of internet connection, but disadvantage is, when you want to use huge data, uh, if it is computer is very old, okay, with the processing one GB RAM or two GB RAM, it's very difficult to process big data in uh, Anaconda Python. But if you use Google Colab, you can use uh, Google server, server uh, capacity, all these things. Okay, that is the advantage. The disadvantage is we, we need internet connection in the uh, Google Colab. Okay, so this is the advantage. So you see here. Uh, Jupyter Notebook in Anaconda uh, installation, yes, no need to install the software. But what is the problem is, uh, uh, um, you know, um, uh, the internet connection we needed, but uh, the disadvantage is, uh, you know, if it's huge data, we can't use uh, this one. So mostly it will CPU, computer CPU, but if you use Google Colab, it will use CPU, GPU, graphical processing unit or TPU. When you use uh, some kind of, you know, um, uh, image data, satellite image data, or uh, um, image of fruits, you know, food item. Uh, so image data is a very huge data. If you want to process in computer, if it is only CPU, it's very difficult to use a Jupyter Notebook or Anaconda. You can use Google Colab, okay? But we need internet connection for Google Colab, okay? So we are, I, I'm using Google Colab, it's very, very useful and it's very fast, but only we need a internet connection, that's all. But remaining things are very good in the uh, Google Colab when compared to other uh, platforms. So there are other uh, alternative for Google Colab is uh, Azure Notebook, Kaggle also they have given notebook, Amazon Notebook, okay, uh, other thing. Uh, but uh, Google Colab is uh, very comfortable. I used to teach this for our students, okay. So you can also use it, but it's very simple, very user friendly. We'll see all these things today. Is it okay? Are you able to understand up to this? Any clarification? Before going for the data set, some of the uh, faculty members are asking for data set. Uh, I'll just share it. Is it okay up to this? Are you able to follow me or any problem with understanding anything? Okay. Yes, Pradesh Nimara, yes, okay. Naresh, okay, yeah. Yeah, fine. So we'll see some We data. need to install Google Colab. No need, only if you have Gmail account, you can directly, I will tell you, sir, I will tell you, uh, after this session, we are going to start the Google Colab. No need to install, directly you can uh, go to a, a Chrome browser or any browser and you can directly you can start it. Okay, sir, okay. Python as a software, but it's a program language, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's multiple purpose, not only programming, uh, you can use it for you know, other purpose. It's a lot of advantages, sir. not only programming, you can use for our data analytics, web scrapping, web development, plenty of advantages are there. It's a holistic software, sir. Yeah. So some of the data set, uh, see here, uh, if you want, you can note down, uh, if you want to do some research, if you want to teach your students on this uh, machine learning and AI project, these are the, some data source, highly used data source. Uh, one you can note on Kaggle, okay? Uh, another one is uh, Amazon Web Service data set. If you Google it after that, you can uh, you can go, you, you can directly go to the website and uh, we can use, today we are going to use the wine data set. It is taken from Kaggle, a World Bank data set. So you will get a lot of data related to other areas also, okay? And data.goen, okay? This is also Indian government, lot of uh, government, uh, all ministry data, they are, putting into common platform, okay? Another one is UCI machine learning uh, repository, okay? This is also very popular uh, uh, data set, okay? So this is also very popular. 
data set for uh, any kind of you know, training purpose. If you want to uh, train some student or uh, if you want to write some paper, you can take this uh, uh, website data, say open source data, and you can write that and you can come up with some findings, okay? And you can uh, do some research also, okay? So you, these are the widely used today data also we are going to take, we are taken from Kaggle. Kaggle also used to conduct a lot of competition, data science competitions and all. If you want, you can take it, okay? Yeah, the, if you look at this, you know, uh, th these are the data. When World Bank also, there is separate uh, uh, option called uh, agri related data server. So this is a common flaw. It is contains separate division called agri food related data. Even Kaggle also, lot of, uh, you have to find out. Okay, so you have to take the separate you know, uh, option you can get it. So there are other sources like RBA, okay, or some of the things. So this is the analytic vidya. Okay, this is the Indian data set you can get it. And uh, there is something called Google data search. Like Google's uh, scholar, there is a there, Google also giving Google data search. So this also you can use it. 538 data set. So these are the, some of the repository you can check it. Um, um, for uh, in inside this website, you can get uh, um, not only agriculture, food and agriculture, other areas will get it. If you, you have to check, you have to spend some time and you have to get only agri data. So this is a general website, not only agri, uh, healthcare, automobile, and other areas also will get it. But you can fine tune, you can spend some time and data to get related to food and agriculture. Okay, what you have to do is you have to, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, I'll share the PPT. Yeah, Another, yeah, yeah. Uh, Python compared to books, you can go with uh, MOOC courses. I'll just MOOC, you know, right, uh, Edex and Coursera. Um, you can go to the Edex and Coursera, you can get a lot of uh, courses. Better compared to book, you try to uh, learn it as a, a course, uh, um, video-based course. Uh, sometimes very not comfortable. You have to do hands-on session, okay? My session compared to books, you try to go, uh, attend some NPTEL course or Coursera or edX. There are a lot of courses are related to Python, okay? You can go to the uh, edX or Coursera, you just type it Python course. Based on the rating, you can get it. Based on the rating and feedback, uh, uh, you can get it. Some course will be very technical, some course related to business application. So based on the requirement, you can go to this website like Coursera. Net. Everybody know, right? Coursera Dex, right? Everybody aware about this website? Coursera Dex, right? Uh, these are the um, MOOC platform. So you can use this platform to understand the courses. Okay, compared to book, this will be better, sir. So this is some more uh, website uh, for data set. Okay, uh, QDL, POS, KDF, CUPS, Riven, Data, Okay, so uh, some data, these are related to uh, images and other data, Twitter sentiment analytics, Twitter also gives a lot of data. So, but you have to um, accept some conditions. So, these are the, some other website, but my suggestion is uh, this file, initially I given Pirate Kaggle. Uh, 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 this recorded video, I'll share it. At the time, you can slowly, you can check all these things. So, you can use the machine level. These are the five things, you can uh, keep it as a key data set. Apart from this, you can check these data sets, okay? So this is also very uh, useful, but uh, this why you try to understand if it is not available, you can go to the other data set website. Okay, this website, you can check it and you can do it for uh, any, any project. If you want to do it, you can take this data. Or if you want to teach your student, you can take this data. Okay, that's all. Uh, this and all just a description about this uh, each and every website. Okay, now we'll go to Google Collab. I'll just uh, stop sharing. Yeah, I'll share it. Our challenges is not finding data or doing analysis. Our challenge is doing a case studies or carry out research with the aid of AI and blockchain. The main uh, challenges is how do we bring AI and blockchain method to typical business research uh, or case. That's what, sir, um, in academic alone, you can't do it. You have to collaborate with the industry. That's a simple answer for this. You have to, very difficult to do. Uh, end of the day, even for a, a, a morning session, that they, uh, Stella, they are tied up with other companies. Even company itself, they're collaborating with um, other financial institution, other uh, segment of supply chain to come up with their project. But similarly, if you want to do this kind of AA project and other thing, you have to tie up with the industry and multiple people to implement in the uh, any kind of project. So collaboration is the key, sir. Is it okay, sir? Are you able to understand this, sir? Stai, sir? Is it okay? Yes, sir. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, now I'll stop sharing. And uh, now uh, those who are having laptop, you can go to the Chrome. I'll also share my screen one minute. Okay, you can go to uh, Chrome or any website you can go. 
any website, any browser like Mozilla or anything, just type Google Colab. So parallel if possible, you do it. There is something called welcome to collaboratory. Just type it, come to this website. I'll wait for some time. type Google Collab and you come to this website. If you are getting this kind of uh, window, there is a new notebook, you click that. I'll repeat again, you go to any uh, Chrome browser, type Google Collab. Okay, uh, once you get the Google Collab, um, a new notebook, something will be there, you type it, we'll get this window. I'll wait for round mate. I'll parallelly in the chat window, I'll share the data set. Okay, you can download this data set in your computer. I just one minute, I just download. Okay, Yeah, please check your uh, chat window. Uh, did you got the data? Wine quality. Some data is there. It is uh, finally please download. So this data we are going to use now. Uh, just understanding what our machine learning model for work. That's all. Okay. Same thing all companies are doing. Maybe they'll automate the process, but concept is same. So now uh, everybody got this window. Uh, everybody ready with this now? Uh, see here, you have to use your Gmail account. Any Gmail account is fine. I use this my account. Now I can see you already uh, completed up to this step. Are, uh, shall I wait for some time? Who they have Franklin, sir. I have shared in the chat window. You check it in the top. Yeah. One more time, if you want, I'll share it. Now, one more time, you check it. I'll wait for some time, one minute. What you have to do, you have to go to Chrome, use Google Collab. Okay, this is a Python environment, but uh, it's a, uh, no need to install any software. Just as it is, we can use it. You have to receive the data set. You check the chat window, madam. Uh, I think it's two times uploaded. You check if it is not there in current message, you have to go to the uh, top. I have shared with everyone. Yeah, so it's not there. Huh? So what about other people? They got it, their data? Yes, sir. It is there in that chat box. Okay, one more time. Last third time I'll share it. Please check it. One more time I'll share, please check it. How come, sir? I shared with everybody. Yes, sir, it is there, sir. Uh, if you want, I can share, share it in the... Three times I've shared, I don't know. We check it properly, madam. Okay, now uh, see here, uh, this is the window. Uh, and I, I just uh, see here, there is something called connect. Click here to connect. Click here to connect. So we need internet connection is connected. 
see here, if you see here, are able to see which version of Python is using the Google Colab is giving Python 3. Are able to see my small box here after connection? Yes, sir. Okay. RAM and yeah, uh, it's giving RAM, how much RAM is giving? Uh, 12 GB RAM. Uh, uh, Google is giving free to us to analyze. If you use your personal computer, maximum RAM will be 4 GB. Okay. And hard disk, uh, even though we have uh, one TB RAM, uh, hard disk also, uh, Google is giving extra RAM, how much they're giving? Almost 107 GB RAM it's giving. Okay. And also, if you see here, um, runtime. Okay. Runtime type. See here, uh, if, you, if you go to the uh, uh, runtime type here, uh, now uh, it is using CPU. Uh, Google Colab is giving GPU, TPU. So this is for advanced data we can use it. So when you're using only computer uh, uh, Anaconda Python or simple Python, it's very difficult to use uh, this kind of processor. Okay, see where in the runtime, you can see change runtime, you can see the GPU. GPU means graphical processing unit, a TPU, uh, sensor processing unit. Mostly for deep learning, can use this data. So use this uh, processor. Uh, huge data is very difficult to use TPU. So this kind of facilities are available when you're using this kind of platform. It's a free one, you can use it. But we are not going to use this uh, GPU or TPU because it, our data is very simple Excel file data. Okay, we are not using any sensor data or anything. So this is enough for us. Okay, so this is the column. Please understand you have to go to Google Chrome browser and uh, new notebook. If you come here, you have to connect it. So you have to need, uh, before uh, coming to the Google column, you need a Gmail account. Any Gmail account is fine. Okay, now uh, what we'll do is, uh, we'll do some kind of you know, uh, case study now. Okay, we'll do some case study. I'll just stop here. I'll go to the PPT. Then we'll come to this uh, data analysis. One minute, I'm sharing the PPT. Is that my PPT is visible? The case study PPT? Case study red wine production something? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Here, um, uh, any company, uh, any uh, manufacturing company or anything, uh, they want to get a better quality product, right? Uh, so similarly for wine production also, they want a, a, wine, a winery manufacturing company, they want to get a better quality wine, okay? So how the quality wine is uh, predicted, okay? Based on the missionary model, um, then this company, okay? Uh, this company is you no know, uh, Portugal-based company. So they, I shared that um, article also, the real-time case study is taken from Kaggle. They want to predict the quality of wine, okay? Whether it's a quality, good quality or bad quality based on the uh, uh, physiochemical characteristics of the wine. For example, acidity, um, volatility, acidity, citric acid, residual sugar, chloride, free sulfur dioxide, total sulfur dioxide, density, pH, sulfates, alcohol level so uh, some good some good very best quality wine there will be some combination will be there acidity will not be too much or too less some optimal will be there so what is the combination what is the best combination or best thing to predict the quality of the wine okay so for that we can use some machine learning model so if somebody some production manager know uh, which is the best combination mean accordingly they can uh, set the manufacturing process to uh, produce the better quality wine. So if you look at the target variable, otherwise called output variable is quality of wine. Okay, so quality rating is zero to one. Okay, and um, input variable, the independent variable is uh, 11 uh, variable. So based on this character, we are going to classify which one, which is the better quality and which is the good quality wine. Okay, so we are going to uh, uh, prediction. So we are not using reinforcement learning or unsupervised machine learning. We are going to use Supervised machine learning. Why it is supervised? Because the target variable, the output variable is there. If it's output variable, you have to go for supervised machine learning. If no output variable, you have to go for unsupervised machine learning. Okay, grouping purpose. Okay, 
so this is the situation uh, now we are going to analyze okay so i'll share that uh, paper also so any machine learning model uh, just uh, i'll tell you any machine learning model uh, this is the process first you have to get the data the data we have to split it to two forms okay uh, training and testing okay mostly training will be more data so here will be 80 80 20 percentage and the training data will use for uh, uh, if it is a target variable is uh, category variable uh, uh, no, target variables category variable mean you have to go for uh, uh, no uh, classification if a target variable is uh, metric variable you have to go a regression based supervised machine if, it, if there is no target variable then you have to go for unsupervised machine learning okay so if it is a uh, you have to train the model training the model we have to use data 80 percentage of data then you have to test the model so based on this model equation you have to test with the test data so if it is a test data uh, the output is uh, continuous mean we have to use uh, this RMC root mean square error to check the accuracy of the model. So how close the test and train data? If it is a, um, a uh, discrete uh, yes or no question, you have to use confusion matrix. Okay. So if you look at here, ours is, ours is the, uh, this one. What is this? Uh, uh, yes or no question only. Okay. Even though we have 0, 0 to 1 scale, uh, we are going to group it into uh, 10. Okay. Now I'll share the data. Just I'll open the data. I'll share it and then I'll explain some more. One minute. Just opening the data. I'll just move to X, uh, PPT two. The target variable mean uh, output variables are output. For example, uh, in your life, what is your target, sir? Yeah, you want to get. Um, uh, you want to build a home. Okay, you want to. Uh, um, you know, uh, give better education to your child. That is a target. For achieving that one, what are the input is needed? You, you need good income, good health. Okay, like this, that is called input variable or independent variable. Target is uh, here, the target here it is uh, variable is uh, to get the better quality wine, company point of view. So, getting the better quality of wine, what will be the color? Uh, the alcohol should be very good, correct pH level, like this, we are doing. Are you able to understand, sir? As you, sir? Yeah, target or what is called output variable response. They'll use other uh, different variables than other. So target means uh, your objective, objective of the company, objective of the site. Okay, that is the target variable. I given target, uh, my target will be, I maybe I want to get promoted as a professor. Okay, I want to build some home. Okay, so that is called a uh, target variable. Which previous slide, sir? One minute, I again. This one, uh? this slide, sir? This one now. Which slide do you want, sir? Can I see the previous slide again? The diagram, why are you? This one, sir, diagram. Yes, sir. Can you tell me, sir? Okay, anyway, I'll go to the Excel file and explain here. Uh, this is the data. Okay, how many data we have? How many data? Almost 1,599, 1,600. First column, if it is a text uh, heading, mean it's a 1,599. So if you look at this one, up to this is the input variable. Okay, this is the target variable, quality of wine. Okay, 5 mean um, 10, 0 to 10. 0 mean low quality, 10 mean high quality. If you look at this, wherever you're getting high, for example, seven, right? Wherever somewhere you're getting nine or something, very low. Here it is a very low, like right? four. Four mean, uh, why it is four? Because uh, maybe we'll take this five. Say five mean the alcohol is 9.4, sulfate is 0 0.5, pH is 3.51, okay? So this is the, the, for this combination, the quality of wine is average, okay? Uh, this seven mean, this combination of, uh, properties of wine, the quality of wine is above average. Why is above average? 0 to 10, right? 10 mean uh, better quality. 0 mean worst quality. 5 mean average quality, right? So like this. So uh, based on this combination, now we have to predict uh, which combination is better. And based on this, we can uh, have some model or a uh, model or a uh, app for uh, production manager. So whenever you want to get better quality wine, uh, you have to maintain this you know, certain level of fixed acidity, uh, volatility, citric acid, residual sugar. Based on this combination, uh, you can plan this production. So if you plan this production based on this combination, maybe you'll get the 
better quality wine. In order to develop some automated system, or you want to check the production today, I produce some quality of wine. I want to check the, uh, what is the quality, how is the quality, whether it's a good quality or bad quality. If you're able to get this data of you no know, fixed SDD of this today output, you can enable to predict the what will be the quality. Assume that today I, I completed my production. I got a note at uh, maybe 100 liter of uh, wine. Now I want to test it whether this wine is uh, average or low or high, how to check it. So for, based on this today's session model, you can just put the data in the uh, app or website. So you can get predict the what will be the quality. So all these things we can do it through this machine learning model. Anyway, I will complete this entire session, then you will understand. Okay. So did you understand the data now? Uh, so now with this data, we are going to import in the Google Colab. So now, uh, please everybody come to the uh, Google Colab. Okay, now, can you see uh, dear, uh, some box here, some corner file? Here, you can uh, see at the left side. Are you able to see my Google Colab window? Is it visible Google Colab or only you can see PPT? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Visible, sir. Okay. Now you can go to this small box here, right click here, upload the data. Which data you have to upload? I chat in the chat window, right? That data you have to upload. Okay. So I am uploading some data. The quality of wine. So you have to upload. It has come. The auto upload, just click the small box here, right click. Upload and select the file. So before that, you have to connect the this one, uh, the server. So you can upload. Now data has come uploaded. Similarly, you can upload any data. I'll wait for some time. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll uh, here, if, if you come here, uh, you can uh, type these commands. Okay, I'll, I'll share it in the chat window. Same command, you can type it in the here also. Copy paste. Copy paste this. The copy paste. Uh, see here. These are the packages. Okay. Normally we call it as a uh, dependency. Dependency for uh, this one. Okay. So the Google Colab have two options. One is code and text. If you want to type text, you can use this one. Okay. Just copy paste. And if you want to run it, you can push Shift Enter or you can press this one. If you want to run the cell, you can either you can use this or what you have to do, you can come here Shift enter shift enter or you can use the cell to click it if it is become green color means there is no error okay i'll explain this one so normally uh, these are the packages in google Colab. okay i'll wait for some time you just complete this one if you want i can share the code entire code in the chat window entire code if you want i can share it The code also I've shared, please check it, okay? So you can just, uh, if you want to upload, you can a file, upload the notebook. If you want to upload this, whatever the file, you can use this upload. Anyway, I'll share all the code line by line in the chat window also. So I'll explain the code. See here, they import NumPy. NumPy mean a numerical operation. Yeah, how to upload CSV file. See here, just, uh, are you able to see my window, madam? This small file option is there. This green uh, yellow color, can you see here? Yes, sir. 
Just you right click here, you upload. Right click and upload. Sir, are these the package to, to be installed? Yeah, installed. How to install? Just you click uh, this button, sir. Automatically it will be installed. So the general command is import, sir. Import, yeah, import the package. Import NumPy. I'll explain that. All the code I'll explain. Okay, okay, okay sir. Okay, sir. Uh, already I've shared it in the chat video. You copy paste or in the, uh, the file also, the code file also I shared. There also you can copy paste. Okay, sir. So upload here. Now I'll explain this code. NumPy. NumPy means a numerical operation. If you want to do some numerical operation, uh, you can uh, use this one. Quantas means, you uh, know, uh, if you want to use some kind of you know, mathematical operation or anything, you can use this first two. Matplot and this Seaborn is a library for data visualization. If you want to use charts or something, you can use these two options. Okay. Matplot and the first one is for numerical. Uh, if you want to use the CSV file, we are importing CSV file, but if you want to use some kind of operation, mathematical operation, and you want to use some data basic mathematical operation, you can use these two code. Uh, first two package. Second two package is for data visualization. We are using some charts, pie chart, bar chart, time chart. For that, we have to use uh, third package and fourth package. Okay. Then, is uh, what is this NPPD PLT SNS? What? NPPD PLT. Sir, we are giving short name, sir. So this is the import. This is the Python name, full name. But okay, we are uh, changing this name as NP. NP means num pi. Can we can we give any name in a state of NP? No, because... better it is the standard name we will tell you that. Okay. No standard. And okay. this is the import, and we can give the name as for matplot.plt. plt. C bond we are call it as a SNS. So no need to type here after C bond uh, pandas. We can use PD NP plot or something dot com. And yeah, uh, SQL this is a machine learning package of Python. From that, we are importing training and testing. Okay, now how much data we have, how much sample we have in this Excel file? Did you remember? How much is the sample? Anybody remember that one? I think thousand. Thousand five nine nine. Five five nine nine. Correct. Five nine. So in the five nine nine thousand five nine nine, uh, we'll try to use seventy or eighty percent as a training data. Remaining all these things we'll use as a testing data okay so we'll see we'll divide this into 70 30 uh, 70 30 or 80 20 whatever it is we'll try to do. okay so that is called this one and next one is uh, what is that uh, uh, we are using the random forest that is a machine learning model one type of machine there are different types of machine learning model we are using random forest model random forest we can use it for uh, classification also regression also supervised machine learning there are two types right? regression and class you can use it for both the purpose but we are going to use for classification. Classification means category variable, okay? And then we are checking the accuracy of the model. Accuracy of the model, how good it is. The training we are getting accuracy 80%, test if we are getting 20%, the model is not good. Training uh, data we are getting accuracy is uh, 80%, testing we are getting almost 80 means the model is good, consistency is there. Okay, based on this, we'll do it, okay? So uh, these are the packages uh, we have installed, okay? Similarly, we'll go for next step. Sir, can we have a brief introduction about this classification, like random forest classification you have mentioned? Yeah, yeah I will tell you, sir. I'll tell you. Okay, sir. So next, we are importing the data. We are loading the data. Next, so how to run it? What is the shortcut for running? What is the keyboard shortcut? Shift to plus Shift enter. enter. Shift to plus enter, okay. So if you want to, if you see the top, you can see code or text code, if better code we can use, you can use wine dot thousand changes, sir. Yeah. So this is the code, you can check it in the chat window. See here, uh, now uh, the, uh, we are, uh, the wine, uh, the file name is, which one the file name, how to get this link, this one. If you go to this, uh, the three dot, there is something called copy path. This is the path of this file. Okay, already it is there. Just uh, one more time, I'll do it. Copy path. Okay, so PD mean what? Pandas. Okay, read CSV file. The, this is the what before equal to that we can change it. If you want to, I don't want wine under underscore data. You can give any name. So anything before equal to that is called uh, you know, uh, variables. You can change anything. If you want, you can give your name also. Okay. Anything before or after equal to that is called functions. 
okay the pd dot read dot underscore it is understand by python software you can't change you know read capital the small letter or a dot if you not put comma so anything before equal that is called variables you can change anything after equal to is called function you can't change it okay so you, you have to put the codes of this path okay now again if you want to run either you can press here or you can press shift enter shift enter so code i have shared if you want you can take it from there or you can uh, check your chat window and you can get it so now we can check the shape of the data so now the file original file name is wine oh. underscore red but now if they change the file name is what is the file name now wine underscore data so that is a, so after this is the file name now original file name is this one we have changed into this one dot shape if you type it so um, so this is the row how many rows we have 1599 that is called sample okay how many column 12 column 11 column is our uh, input variable one column last column is a target variable what is 11 12 column and uh, 1599 row you want i can share this also the chat window the code now if you want to check the data okay uh, what is the data you can okay if you want you can close this noise huh here uh, this is the file head so if you simply head if you will only it will go five first to five rows whatever we saw in excel file right the same for excel file output will get it you can check your chat window same thing can copy paste and you can run it no need to type it if you don't want so this is the first column so always the python uh, the first row will be zero it will start column also it will start with zero only so this is a first excel row column 7.4 this is the value so totally like this we have 1599 row and 12 column 1 2 3 4 5 6 like this it will go up to quality 12 column start so okay if you want to check the missing values any missing values are there you can use this code wine underscore data is the data set name in cell is sum okay how many missing values are there you can use this function okay i'll share it in the chat window the code also see here there is no missing values everywhere zero zero mean there is no missing values there is no missing value if any missing values are there we have to replace with mean or mode if it is a category variable we have to replace with mode metric variable you have to replace with this mean average for example assume that in the classroom i'm asking the age okay out of 100 students assume that 100 uh, uh, participants are there 98 people given their age two people not given the age so i how to replace with i take the average of uh, remaining 80 people whatever the average i put it in the remaining two people that is called uh, replacing uh, missing value with the mean but the category variable mean like gender male and female asking under student what is the male and female So 80 people, 88 people given uh, gender. Two people not given gender. I can't do, uh, take mean. I have to take the mode. I just repeated value. So I just repeated value is the mo most repeated value is all are male. So other two people also I put it as a male mean. So if missing value is metric variable mean, replace with mean. Category variable mean, replace with which one? Mode. Mode you have to do. But here we are, we are not doing anything because uh, there is no missing values. okay so now uh, if you want to do some descriptive statistics you can use this uh, code anyway i shared the code you can check it later also i'll share it in the chat window so this is the describe so describe is uh, statistical technique so minimum uh, maximum all the descriptive statistics will get it 
which one sir uh, banana ta elevate this ko salam sir any question sir there see if you are talking just mute the mic so this is the described data then we want to do some uh, data visualization here we i used you know sns sns mean what is initially we installed the package right sns c bond library that is for short term so category plot category based mean uh, some normal plot quality mean what is the quality mean that variable name this is the quality variable tooth column quality variable and the data set name is y in this one kind we are just counting so this uh, let's also i'll put it okay so here most of the quality of wine uh, even the quality rating is 0 to 10 no rating of 0 1 only starting from 3 rating 4 rating most of the rating as given is 5 another rating they given 6 okay another rating they given so 10 also not there 0 1 also 9 also not there in between 3 to 8 is there 3 to 8 is the rating most of the um customer they given rating as yes Um, most of the people are getting the rating of each one. Five, five mean what is this? We are able to see here uh, this one, uh, this data. Here uh, we are getting five, two, six like this, right? So this will count how many people are getting zero. So there is no zero, one, and nine, ten also not. Most of the rating is five only. Yes, most of the people are five rating. Okay. similarly if you want to do some other plot uh, please check your chat window i'm sharing all the code same thing copy paste and uh, just uh, control uh, shift enter or just run it and under i'm just explaining the code for your understanding purpose this is how they will do it so here we are using two charts uh, see here same c bond library x axis i'm taking as a quality of the wine okay x axis quality of wine y axis i'm taking the volatility acid what what is volatility acid so this column second column okay I'll share it in the chat window. The code. So if you look at this, when the uh, quality of wine is very low, for example, three is very low, right? So zero to ten, ten is very good quality. Zero is very bad. Three means low quality only. So low quality wine means acidity, uh, volatility is low or high. High. So that means good quality wine. We have to maintain low acidity or high acidity. for good quality wine we have to maintain low acidity or high acidity based on this graph for good quality wine we have to maintain low acidity or high acidity low acidity yeah because if you look at here uh, customer given the low, low rating the acidity is high here is four somewhat high moderate means moderate three three uh, point you have to maintain so if you maintain around four it is good okay similarly if you want to check it for other also you can do it see i am not asking you to type it because we don't have time so just we will run it see a same um, same structure but uh, same quality x is equal but i am changing citric acid okay citric acid should be low or high So low low uh, low low acidic acid is good for quality wine or high is better because here higher higher the citric acid better quality wine so you have to maintain high quality if you want to compare with all other variable same code only you have to change y axis y axis i use only now volatility acid and citric acid if you want uh, uh, chlorides same thing same code only you have to change which one here uh, citric acid into chlorides similarly if you want to use uh, ph this word you have to use that's all so based on this you understand which are the variables are favorable to the uh, this one uh, to uh, production uh, wine quality production you can do it similarly i'll share it in the chat window you take it so like this you can plan it so now i do the correlation
So correlation between this entire data. Okay, correlation. I just tell you, share it in the chat window. Okay. Yeah, I'll do this plot. Correlation plot. Okay, entire. So I'm doing separate, separate here. Now I'm doing entire thing at a time. If you chat window here, so uh, I'm using the correlation entire uh, SNS heat map. Heat map mean uh, blue color I use. Okay, higher the blue color, um, uh, higher value. Lower the blue color, lower the value. Okay, the um, uh, this is the the anecdote mean the numbers. Here this is the values. If you want, you can give it size. I given eight size. Blue color. If you want red color, anything. If you want, you can change it. So uh, if you look at this, fixed acidity is highly correlated with the, this one. What is this one? Citric acid. 0.7. Why is 0.7 is highly correlated? Fixed acidity and the citric acid are highly correlated. So like this, you can get the correlation. The color denotes darker the color, higher the correlation, lighter the color, low correlation. The value is also here. So mostly correlation will be minus one to plus one. Minus mean negative correlation, plus mean positive correlation. Zero mean no correlation. So like this, you can get some idea about the production process, which are the highly correlated. Okay, next we'll do data preparation. Now I'll go to the this one. Somebody was asking, no, what is a random forest model? I'll just go to the PPT. I'll explain. Okay, so this is the process of data. So we got one data. So we are doing data analysis, pre-processing something and splitting data into training. And so 599, we are going to split it into two forms. We are going to apply random forest. What is the random forest model? So random forest is like a classification tree. Okay. So target is we are going to target whether the uh, uh, wine is good quality or bad quality. Okay. So if you look at the random forest is uh, is a come under you no know, classification and the regression tree. Then normally they call it the CART model. C A R T classification and regression T. C for classification and for A. R for regression, T for tree, CART, C A R T, classification and regression tree. The random forest is the advanced form of uh, classification and regression tree. Okay, so I'll explain first the classification regression tree. Okay, the, the, so this is the diagram for CART model. So if you want to predict the quality of wine, okay, so well, I'm going to predict whether uh, wine is a good quality or bad quality. So if it is a uh, if it is a good quality, it will divide. Okay, if it is particular variable, for example, uh, based on the correlation, it will take very important factor. For example, assume that the acidity is very important. Acidity is above 0.5. Okay, so it will be uh, uh, bad quality. If it is a less than 0.05, it will be good quality. So it will be group based on the variables. Based on the particular variable, it group into uh, this one. If you have this, uh, if it is 0 0.5, it become bad quality. If it is uh, less than 0 0.5, good quality. Again, it will take one more variable. So like this, each and every node, it will give one one. What is the variable here? 11 variable, acidity, pH, all these things. It will group it. So based on this, some cutoff level, it will make it as a tree structure, okay? So if we can find out whichever the good quality wine, these are the properties. Whichever the bad quality wine, these are the properties, okay? So in the cart model, only one tree will be created. Random forest is collection of multiple tree. You assume that like a forest, forest, how many trees will be the multiple tree. The cart model means only one tree. Okay, the one tree cart model, how it is classified? Hello? Yeah. The cart model is uh, one tree, a, a random forest collection of trees. In cart model, uh, each entire variables, okay, for example, here the target variable is predicting the quality of wine is good or bad. Based on the each and every variable, it will vary. For example, we have done some correlation, right? The, the chart, the diagram. So sometimes acidic acid is good, mean bad quality, less mean good quality, other variable, something like this. So based on this cutoff value, it will group, okay? It will group and classify. End of the day, we, um, we, we have, it's like, you know, if condition, if the quality, if it is acidity related, like uh, less than 0.5, good quality. Greater than 0.5, bad quality. If pH is this much, good quality. pH is this much, is, it's like a if condition statement, it will group, like a forest, okay? So forest, random forest means collection of multiple cart model is called random forest. 
the single model is called a um, cart single call model okay so random morph model is better because you know um, same uh, uh, analysis we can analyze multiple models so the average result of the all the model it uh, it will get better accuracy than the single cart model i'll repeat again cart model is a single tree okay so based on the each and every in, uh, target input variable it will group the uh, our target quality wine is good or bad so the random forest advanced form of cart model so it will be uh, it will do multiple uh, analysis same data it will do multiple data analysis multiple sub sample it will take and the average result will give is like you no know, uh, fine, fine uh, it will uh, result will be fine tuned when compared to this cart model cart model is just, just a single analysis but uh, uh, random forest multiple analysis multiple what is the average result it will take the final result so that why the model use random forest and compared to cart model cart model mean what it is classification and regression tree so why it's called regression like this it will come a tree step okay so that, that this this node will be the target this will be our you know the independent variable okay if you have this condition uh, this will be there so if you want to if you want to give a loan for you first you will check income income uh, job okay if you know job mean loan will not be there job will be there yes job uh, loan can be given again then check second condition so, uh, job is either government or private private mean possible if a private also income uh, this much uh, less income will permanent or this one like this multiple condition it okay that is called random forest model is it, uh, somewhat are able to follow me is it okay yes sir okay so this is the random for now i can go to this uh, regression tree uh, the, uh, what is this google collab one minute One minute. Up to this, we completed. No, one minute. Up to this, we completed. Now we are going for uh, remaining case. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, we are going to take the data. Are able to see my screen? Uh, this one. We are yes, sir, yes, X, sir. X, X means here um, except uh, axis one. Okay, except uh, this one. Okay, except uh, quality remaining all eleven column is X. Okay. Enter. So X will be except the. Quality will get it. If you want to print X, okay, print X. So you'll get how many columns? Here, here how many columns? Fixed acidity two. Here, fixed acidity two alcohol. Here, are able to see fixed acidity two alcohol. In between diagram, it is there. No, that is okay. I'll share this code in the chat window. Twelve column, eleven column contain x. X is the independent variable. Y is the target variable. Target variable is y. Okay, y uh, we are taking y. Why? Why is the which one? Quality of y. I'll change it in the chat window. I'll share it again. I'll repeat again. So y is which one quality? What is the name of the quality here? Are able to see from fixed acidity to alkali x variable. That is input input uh, independent variable. Okay, so in order to uh, increase the predict the quality of wine, this in, independent variable varies. Y is the target variable. Target mean our objective. So y is quality. So apply lambda function. So we are converting uh, numbers zero to ten uh, number right into two groups. Okay, if it is value is Greater than equal to one, we are giving one. One is a good quality. Okay, so one is good quality when the values are greater than or equal to seven. For example, uh, if you look at this first example, five. Five is not equal to or uh, greater than seven. So that means it it will become zero. Okay, wherever you are seeing seven or above seven, it will become one. Wherever you are seeing below seven or Uh, below seven, it will become 
zero. Okay, so one is what? One is our good quality wine, and good quality wine is what is the value? Any any, any values are above seven or equal to seven is one. Any values are less than seven, uh, that is called zero. Zero means bad quality. One is the good quality wine. Okay, so y is the eleven uh, column. And y uh, x is eleven column, y is only one column. That column is quality of wine. Okay, I I share the code. Please check it. Now we split the data into training and testing. Okay, and take data. The machine learning model. This is a very important concept here. So we are uh, uh, dividing the data. So uh, that uh, data. There are two types of uh, original data file name is wine. Uh, Trained right original data file name is which one? Original file is uh, wine uh, quality that we have changed into wine data. It contains thousand five ninety nine right? Seven thousand five ninety nine. Okay, so seven five nine. We are uh, dividing the uh, entire data into two columns. Okay, eleven uh, column is name is X and last one column is Y. Okay, so if you look at the X fine, X fine mean what it is? Uh, the uh, uh, no uh, the data we are splitting into Thirty. So thirty mean three mean what it is? Thirty uh, percentage we are putting into train, and seventy percentage we are putting into test. Okay. So uh, train uh, we are putting seventy percent, test we are putting thirty percentage. So if you look at this random state, so it's a random state here. So test size two twenty, such that twenty is zero point two. So zero point two mean twenty percentage we are putting in the test, and eighty percent we are putting in the Train. Okay, well, this random state is for uh, everybody getting same result. We are putting random state. Okay, this, this is for practice purpose. So if we do this, if you run it, what will happen? Everybody will get different different result. So in order to get same result, we are putting random state. So test size is zero uh, point. Mean twenty percent data we are using for training data set, and eighty uh, percentage data we are using for uh, training. Okay, testing twenty percentage, training eighty percentage. Okay, so train split. Did you remember initially we installed on package train test split function that package. So that package we are using the so x and y. X is what eleven column, y is one column. So that in the column twenty uh, out of thousand five ninety nine, so eighty percentage will go to the train data set. Twenty percentage of thousand five ninety nine will go to the test data set. Okay, I'll just share this code in the chat window. You run it now. Click enter. Okay, that's all. If you want to check the shape, you can check the shape of the data. You know, thousand five ninety nine, right? Thousand five ninety nine. Y is what? Y is the eleven uh, column. Okay, X is one column. So eleven one column, all five ninety nine is there. X train. How much? Eighty percentage of five ninety nine is thousand two hundred seventy nine. Twenty percentage of thousand five ninety nine is three hundred and three hundred and twenty. Okay, uh, repeat again. Total sample we have thousand five ninety nine. In this eighty, why it is a train? Train mean eighty percentage. Test is how much? Twenty percentage. So twenty percentage of five ninety nine is three twenty. Eighty percentage of five ninety nine is thousand two ninety nine. Okay, so this data will use for developing the model equation. This data will use for testing the equation. So this is how the, all the companies are using. Okay, so but uh, we can't see in uh, no, but uh, we are using this same process one. So we are using random random forest classifier. So I'll uh, put it in the chat window. We're running the model. So we are in the model. Uh, see, if you look at here, we didn't use. Okay, see here we didn't. Uh, we have used only the uh, train. Train mean eighty percentage. Train right, eighty percentage of data. Okay, we you run the model. Now we'll check the accuracy.
accuracy of the model. Accuracy, we are getting almost. To check your chat window, all the codes are I've shared. Here, uh, accuracy, we are getting almost 92 percentage. So here, here, uh, here we used the original 80 percentage data, but the model only we are using. Here, if your model, model fit, right? So only your model using, but trained data we are using. So this is for developing the model. This is for testing the model. Okay. So based on this, the accuracy is 90 out of 100 percentage uh, time prediction. 92 percentage of time we are getting accurate model. Uh, error is how much? Almost 7 percentage error we are getting. So that means this model is good. Okay. So this is how uh, all the machine learning models are developed. All the machine learning models are developed. Okay. So now I'll go to the PPT to check all the uh, PPT. You will get it. I'll go to PPT, then I'll come here. So this is how uh, they will develop. Here, uh, I'll give one example. Are you able to see my PPT? Yes, sir. Yeah. Here, uh, this is like this. Uh, once you develop the model, they will see the, the they will develop this kind of app. For example, this is one of the apps developed by some people. Here, Arvest app. Okay, so they have a lot of uh, options are there. Okay, for example, if you want to see the crop crop recommendation, here are able to see here uh, nitrogen, nitrogen something I'll put at the phosphorus. Okay, so uh, today you can get this data from IoT sensor or something. So you know the uh, how much the poten potassium or the, all these values are there in your uh, field. Okay, if you type this value as place, for example, I'm from uh, this one Karnataka. Okay. City, some Bangalore, Bulgaria, what is it, whatever place. So if you put this data, you can predict. Similarly, uh, whatever we have done, wine prediction, right? So what is the in input variable? Uh, acidity, pH, alcoholic, uh, sulfur, dioxide. If you, uh, if the production manager type this value, he can predict what will be the quality of wine. Similarly, same concept for uh, this uh, crop prediction. Crop you know, prediction. If you predict here. It will recommend. Sorry, I could not process the current price. Try something. Okay. Maybe some data will be there. One bit, one more time. I'll do. fertilizer. Some 20. P, uh, P value of file is very low. Please suggest consider following. Okay, these are the you know, fertilizer you have to put it. Okay, so this is how they, they'll finally deploy. So, so far we have developed the uh, wine quality prediction. Okay, whether uh, quality of wine is good or bad. So based on the 11 input we use. Similarly, uh, this kind of you know, uh, apps will be used by the different people. Okay, so they the uh, same input, only they can type the input uh, either manually or uh, automated by some people. So based on this, if you click the predict, it will come. So similarly, as a faculty member or research scholar, you can develop some app for farmers or uh, some other you know, NGOs or companies. The same machine learning model. One machine learning model will be some equation. So uh, uh, farmers and engineers they will not understand all the this kind of you know uh, formulas, all these things. Okay. So it you know for them we can use you know we can show this uh, app. Okay. So only can uh, they will not understand all the equation data. So this is for our purpose. After that you have to use this kind of deployment. What is the deployment? Either website or app. So in the app the farmers or uh, the engineers they can type this value and they can predict. The so backside of this. Uh, uh, prediction, what will be there? the random forest machine learning model, all the, you know, the mathematics will be there. Okay, so this is how they develop the machine learning product, not only for uh, uh, lab or other uh, company, everybody we are doing this process only. Okay, are you able to follow me? Is it okay? Yes, sir. So this is how we have to, if you want, you can note down this website, Arvest, uh, this one. If you want, I can type, uh, I'll share it in the chat window. Whenever free time, you just check this uh, app for further details. So this is how they will finally deployment. Deployment means either they'll use the Python uh, no, class or Amazon web, de uh, web development or some other software they'll use to implement the machine learning model. Okay. 
so why we are learning all these things the feature is you no know, robots our workers our future generation you know students will not work with only with the human being they will work with the robots and other people so in order to understand the robots you have to understand the a machine learning how the coding works okay if you feed wrong data the prediction also will be wrong so in order to uh, understanding all these thing you have to understand machine learning and uh, deep learning concept all this okay so this is how uh, the people will be there so you are not replaced by you know by robots you are being replaced by someone who understand the robots as a faculty member you have to understand the robots or in order to understand the robot you have to understand the machine learning concept what data you have to feed what algorithm is doing some overall understanding is very very important not only for uh, technical people any people is very very important okay so that's why everybody all the companies institutes everybody education they started this kind of courses okay so with this i stop here any clarification anything uh, some are able to understand yeah. overall i share the recorded video uh, and the code also i shared and one more time i'll share the code and uh, data set uh, you can slowly check the video and if you want you can practice one more time in your uh, home or uh, institute okay any clarification anything so requesting the participant do you have any uh, queries clarifications yeah. thank you madam yeah because the time limitation also there is somewhat i just will share the all the recorded video and the other thing other details so i thought of giving only you know this 50 we are planning only the high level ending we don't want to go to coding and other skill but anyway we have given this because you know, there was a shortage of one today's resource person you are shifting tomorrow that's why i have taken this session i thought uh, somewhat you will learn something thank Good you afternoon, sir. Are yes, you, madam, yes, any, any question, madam? Yes, so I want to know, like, I'm uh, like learning data science, uh, uh, and uh, I'm like practicing on various projects. Like you explained, uh, your way of explanation is excellent, and I understand all the things that you explained. But so, uh, like, uh, like I am in the teaching field, and I want to move into a like industry, and uh, for that, uh, what are the various requirements? Like, uh, in case of a data science, we have required. python and r language sir only madam you want to shift from teaching to field madam yes sir you, you want to uh, shift from uh, teaching to which one you want to uh, as in the industry for sir we, for more practical experience like uh, in the teaching we are doing the things we are explaining the students with the project but like uh, we have to complete uh, within a, we have a limit uh, like uh, we have a three or four months we have to complete our curriculum and within that we are not able to explain the practical things in a better way yes. but uh, to explain i have uh, like worked uh, like myself i learned the things by myself but practically how it is worked like i know the things what i have learned according to my experience from the youtube on from the various internet websites but practically how it is implemented and how we can uh, like potentially help students to like gain a benefit from our teaching i want to like do that uh, kind of things sir so can you suggest something like uh, how we can improve uh, like uh, because uh, it is not ultimately like going to help me it also going to like give a hike in my career as well as i will better explain to the students that okay these are the things that industry working and uh, you can gain experience can you suggest some way that sir yes, how madam, can there, there, there a, you can check the kaggle competition they their industry people they will put their uh, real time problem Um, okay sir so. kaggle and uh, there is analytic vidya.com there are they will put the companies problem they will put it in the this competition you can okay, take sir. you can participate in that competition you can get the real time project real time company project so they will give money also to you know if you get some good, very good output they will give some money also the competition price also that is one way madam second one oh. way you can apply it lot of startup company in your place any small small companies are there you can go and upload there a lot of problems will be there you can take that problem and you can tie up with other company not only uh, you, if you assume that your management faculty you can tie up with computer science faculty and try to solve the problem as a consultancy project but they will not come to you but you have to go and approach them okay so uh, a main problem like i heard whenever i approach that they consider us uh, as a fresher yes, like, yes, not only you madam not only you as a group you have to go you have to uh, you, uh, maybe you can that, uh, take some you know a, a senior person or some other experienced people you have to, then you can learn from them collaboratively and then you can then if you have some experience then you can uh, alone you can approach the project so initially any even good publication you have to do collaboration 
similarly for good project or lime trip project you have to tie up with some uh, no other department or somebody iit or somebody uh, no somebody has done lot of project you can tie up with them and you can approach collaboratively then they'll give the project so once you have good experience then you can alone or you can separately you can approach the project so you don't want to approach all these things and go to this kind of a kaggle competition okay so they okay. will give or if personally if you know any companies for example yesterday there were some company people are telling right trace x and other people they want to collaborate okay so okay. that kind of uh, good people will be there you can directly approach them also so three ways one is kaggle competition or you can tie up with good people and you can approach third one is uh, known people like you know um, already you know familiar then if you approach they will uh, believe and they will give the project for okay, okay sir thank you so much sir for your guidance and uh, thank you madam uh, any questions any other questions sir uh, this is ramesh again yes sir hello yes sir sir uh, i have one small question uh, like uh, uh, the program we are running is written untitled uh, i pi nb is it uh, possible to save it somewhere and uh, run it in either uh, uh, anaconda or uh, other yeah, yeah same uh, python you can run it anaconda any anywhere you can run it sir i have shared the code also in chat window the same code you can use it for other uh, Uh, Anaconda Python also. Okay, so only here it is extension is I Py N B. Yeah, 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 you can save it as different file as I show you, sir. One minute. Are you able to see my screen, sir? Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can download. So can you see here a download as a Python? I Python is an interactive Python notebook. If you want, you can download as a Python. P Y. Ah, okay. to see, if yeah. you download this version, yeah. you can use it for a other Python, basic Python, and I can't anywhere you can use it. Ah uh, yeah, but this platform, I I think it is very good. Yeah, I it came is across the first time. I, yeah, personally, I'm using. Uh, uh, they're very useful for 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 a basic level understanding. They can use it. Yeah, yeah, because nothing, no installation, nothing required. Yeah, yes, yes, and also it will not take your yeah. computer space uh, processing speed. I think it will use only a um, uh, Google, uh, no cloud platform. Ah uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Only you need internet connection. Uh, we, we will be able to run most of the machine learning programs in this. Yeah, yeah, everything, every all deep learning, everything mm. can do it. Oh, Even okay. at, uh, I was mentioning right, sir. One of the beauty of this one is uh, you can use this uh, runtime. Uh, there is something called you know. Uh, so uh, if you use computer only, you have a GPU. If you want a very huge data uh, under GPU data or something, you can use this kind of process. gpu tpu you can upload your data in google drive or some other drive and you can use this process that is the advantage uh, that that one is for uh, only for uh, that the, the two one uh, you are showing uh, you are getting for, for uh, high level data sir uh, for example sensor data any image data video data voice data ah. that kind of situation ah. you can use it ah, okay 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 thank you sir okay thank, thank you, you. and more madam ask whether we can apply the regression technique for yes yes a regression technique can apply uh, uh, but no need to uh, convert that to yes or no question the last quality question 0 to 10 is there no no need to convert into group as it is you can run the regression if you want uh, uh, classification i grouped into zeros and one um, uh, as it is you can run it re regression no need to group into zeros and one okay thank you any other thing If there is no question. I will stop here. Tomorrow, uh, same time, ten o'clock. Today session only we have talked. Uh, Thank you, sir. Nice session, sir. Hope all people are enjoyed. Uh, yes, yeah. that to hands-on training session. You know, sir. Tomorrow. I think uh, all are enjoyed, sir. Oh, okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. And again, tomorrow same. Uh, as already, Ganesh sir informed you, first session going to be handled by the Pradeep Kumar for now. Sad show. That is ten uh, to eleven. Eleven uh, to twelve will take care by the again cropping. Uh, break. Possibly we will have some break or sometime it is delayed. First session will start at around fifteen. Five ten minutes, yes, sir. Ah uh, yes, around fifteen to fifteen. So afternoon session as usual uh, taken by the source test system that is home or at rest. Yeah, yes, yes. As usual, sir. No, no, no change in afternoon session. Morning only two resource person will come and engage one. Yes, yes. One yes. Thank you, sir. Nice uh, session, sir. Yeah, thank you, sir. And uh, thank you. I'll share the recorded video and people also will share it. Huh? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Shall we wind up, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank sir. you. Uh, Feedback you share, no, sir. Huh? All right, done, sir. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thanks. Stop here. We'll meet tomorrow at ten o'clock. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir. Thank you, sir.